our birthday party in yeah. Namibia. I will now tell you how we work with doctors. You really have to choose the most well-renowned doctors. It's important when you're carrying a newborn in a baby carrier to make sure that you've chosen a carrier where you can see that the baby is breathing well and you can feel the baby's breath and be able to adjust the baby's position as needed. It's good to be held in an upright position for several reasons. One, because if the baby is in an upright position, you can see where their head is and you can feel and be sure that they're breathing. And also, if they're held in an upright position, they can lie against your body and they can feel your heartbeat and they can feel your breathing as well as feel the vibrations when you speak. The leg position in the baby Bjorn carrier is actually quite what we call physiologic, which means a good position for the hips to be in. And what we're aiming for, for a position for the hips uh, for babies, is that they be spread out, what we say abducted, and flexed up. And that they should also be able to move their legs when they choose to move their legs. A bad position for the legs would be to have the legs very close together and held in a position where they can't move the legs well. There's no evidence to date that the genitalia would be adversely affected by being carried in an upright position like you would be carried in the baby Bjorn carriers. And there are some small studies demonstrating that there is actually very little pressure placed on the genitalia in the baby Bjorn. The baby Bjorn carriers support the baby's back and spine by allowing the child to rest against the back in a nice C-shaped position, which replicates the shape of the newborn infant's spine. And then the back of the headrest supports the baby's head and neck, and it can be pulled tighter or made looser depending on the size and the age of the baby to better support the head and neck as needed.